Now in this question, you're given that f dash x, that's the first differential of f of x, is equal to 4x minus 6 root x plus 8 over x squared. And the point P, which has coordinates 4, 1, lies on the curve C, that is the curve C being y equals f of x. And our job is to find f of x. So how are we going to find f of x then? Well, f of x will be the integral of f dash of x. So what we've got to do is integrate with respect to x f dash x. That's all of this. So because there's more than one term, make sure you put that in brackets, 6 root x plus 8 over x squared. We're integrating with respect to x, so remember the dx on the end. Now then, this term's okay for integrating, but this term and this term aren't in the form ax to the power n. So I've got to get these in that format, so what I need to do is, we'll just copy the 4x down, I need to change root x, and what you've got to remember, let's just give you a few notes up here, that if you've got the nth root of x, that is often written as x to the power 1 over n. So I can write that as 6x to the power half, because square rooting, there's a hidden 2 here, so it's x to the power half. As for 8 over x squared, I've got to use the indice rule that x to the minus n is the same as 1 over x to the power n. So 1 over x squared would be the same as x to the minus 2. So this is going to be plus 8x to the minus 2. Don't forget to put the dx on the end. OK, so we've got each of the terms now ready to integrate. So all we do now is just add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So we have 4x add 1 to the power. It's the power 1 at the moment, so add 1 to that, and you've got 2. Divide by the new power, 2. For this one, add 1 to the power, so that's x to the power 1 and a half, or keep it as a top-heavy fraction, 3 over 2, and divide by 3 over 2. As for this one, add 1 to the power, so adding 1 to the power of minus 2 gives minus 1, and divide by the new power, minus 1. Don't forget to put in the constant of integration, which I'm going to call plus c. Now I need to tidy each of these terms up. So for the first term, 4 divided by 2 is 2, so we've got 2x squared. As for this one, I can times top and bottom of the fraction here by 2, and that will give me 12 over 3, and 12 over 3 is 4, so we can have minus 4x to the power 3 over 2. As for this one, 8 divided by minus 1 is minus 8. And x to the power minus 1, by this rule, will be 1 over x to the power 1, or 1 over x, times it with a minus 8, and you've got minus 8 over x. And then, don't forget the constant of integration, plus c. Now, to find out fully what f of x is, we've got to work out what the constant of integration is, c. Now we know that p lies on the curve c, so we know that when x is 4, f of 4 would be 1. So I can say then that given that f of 4, that's when x is 4, we get 1. So if I substitute x is 4 into this equation here, we would have that 2 times 4 squared minus 4 to the power 4 to 3 over 2, minus 8 over 4, plus c, should equal 1. So we we'll just come down here. So 4 squared is 16, 2 16 is 32, so we've got therefore 32, minus, now, 4 to the power 3 over 2, 
Remember your indices rules, it's a bit like this one, just an extension of this rule, that if you've got um, the nth root, well let's just say x to the power m over n. x to the power m over n means the nth root of x all to the power m. And I'm going to use that rule here. So 4 to the power 3 over 2, we need to square root the 4, which is 2, and then cube that result. So 2 cubed is 8, times the minus 4 is going to be minus 32. So pop that in there. Minus 8 over 4, that's minus 2, plus c equals 1. So we've got minus 2 plus c equals 1, and so therefore c equals 3 if we add 2 to both sides. All I need to do now is substitute c equals 3 back into this equation for f of x. So therefore f of x is going to equal 2x squared minus 4x to the power 3 over 2 minus 8 over x plus the constant 3. And that brings us to the end now of this part of the question.